Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to insert a spark line or like a trend line in your Excel spreadsheet. It's basically a spark line is just a graph or a little image that goes inside an Excel cell. So just imagine it being a very small graph again. And so it's very easy to do, very easy to, to build into your spreadsheet. All you have to do is the first thing you can do is select the data that you'd like. And then if you click on the insert tab on the ribbon there, and then insert a spark line. You just click on the line there. So it will all already have the data range there. If you didn't select the data range before, you can go ahead and do that now. And now you can just click where would you like the spark line to be placed. So I like to put it here in J3. We're going to hit enter. Enter again. Now you can see that it, it's, again, a little graph or a little uh, image that shows you how the data correlates to it. Um, so we're just going to drag this down. And you can see there's all sorts of... Uh, it will just show the trend. So here we just have this month over month sales, and it shows how how what that was like. I mean, it's just, again just a a line that provides the image. So very helpful is you have large data sets and you're just trying to do a very pity or succinct summary of, of what's going on. This is this can be very useful. So a couple options you can you know you can click on it. You can change if you click on it, it'll take you to the Sparkline homepage and you can click uh, different colors if you want to select colors you also have the opportunity to highlight different things so if you want to show what was the high point in that line or of the data and it would go ahead and select that maybe you just want to do the low point it's going to go ahead and show a different color there that's something that you can do with that sparkline again you can adjust sparkline color but the marker so if we wanted to adjust right now our high point is a green let's say we wanted to show it as black it would go ahead and do that and let's say maybe we want the low point to not be red, but we want it to be this teal blue. We can go ahead and make that change as well. So again, very helpful in, you know, as you're summarizing data and putting together these very, very simple spark lines here. Some couple other things you can do, you can also do columns. So it will show columns, how they're trending. Again, you can see the colors are still the same. So the highlight is the black, and then the low point is the blue. And then your wins and losses would be week over week trends there, but something you can just get into and, and play around with and find those trend lines or those spark lines that work best for you in your reports. Again, something very helpful and can provide a great visualization for your data. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions around this, please let me know. Please uh, drop a note. Uh, and also please subscribe to the Excel guy. Thanks and have a great day.